Welcome back everyone to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually make millions as well as level up quickly while going AFK. Now the great thing about this is there's actually going to be a couple of requirements but none that's going to be too difficult. So let's go ahead and get started with this. So just to get started with this, if you're not really sure what I'm talking about, basically AFK just means away from keyboard, where you're going to be making money as well as leveling up without having to do anything whatsoever, and you're just making that money in RP in the background. So just get started with this, we're of course going to have a couple of requirements. First one is you need to go down in the link in the description below, and in the description will be three different links. Now, to make this a bit easier, I did categorize them, so there's going to be a link for PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. So, go ahead, click on that link, and then what's going to happen is it's going to take you directly to the Rockstar Social Club page. And then from here, just go ahead and log into your account, and then after that, it's going to take you directly to the job link. And then from here, just click on bookmark job. You may need to restart GTA Online or go into a new invite-only session. If going into an invite-only session doesn't work, then you can go into a public session. But once you do that, you are now ready to go. I'm not sure if you're aware of it, but basically after around 10 to 15 minutes, if you're just sitting idle in the game or any type of mission, you automatically get kicked. So in order to actually avoid that, we're going to need to do a rubber band method where we keep our character constantly moving. So like I said, for this, we're only going to need a rubber band, and I'll explain what you're having to do later in the video, but that's going to be your last requirement. So once you have all those requirements out the way, you are now ready to go. So the first thing you want to do is make your way into any GTA Online session. It really doesn't matter what session that you're in. For me, I've always done invite only just because the loading times are much quicker. And then from here, what you then want to go ahead and do is press options. Go over to online, go over to jobs, go over to play jobs, and then from here, go down to bookmarked. After that, go down to survivals, and then go ahead and start up the bookmarked job. Now, for PC players, the one that's going to be specifically called is TMIC Magic Money Tree. So, if you're playing on PlayStation or Xbox, it's going to be an entirely different job link, but it just works the exact same way. So, the great thing about AFK Survivals, which is why I've always chosen them for AFK methods, is because not only do they actually unlock rank 1, but you can also do this completely by yourself. So, from here, once you find the job link, just go ahead and start it up. In the settings menu, you do not need to change anything whatsoever. The only thing I've always changed personally was the time of day and weather. Just because I like it to be noon and stuff and the weather clear. But like I said, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. As for purchasing ammo and super heavy armor, you're not going to be getting shot at. Nor are you going to be needing to shoot anyone because this is AFK. So you don't need to worry about that whatsoever. From here, once you're done messing with the settings, just go ahead and confirm it. And then from here, just go ahead and start up the job. What's going to happen is once the job starts up, you're actually going to spawn in this little dome or arena here. What's going to happen is that the enemies are actually going to spawn in this barrier here. Which, in order to show you this, I do have to change my settings. So let me go and do that real quick. Okay, so now that I turned on my head-up display on, you can actually see the waves of like which wave that you're on as well as like how far you're into it. So what's going to happen is the enemies are actually going to spawn here. They're going to be equipped with grenade launchers. And so what's going to happen is they're going to see your character and then try to shoot at you. But because they're actually blocked by a fence, they're actually going to shoot at the fence and hit them instead. Bouncing back the grenade and then blowing them up. So you see here I did not move my character or shoot at them whatsoever. And we automatically completed wave 1 without having to do anything at all. Now as for our second issue with this one is not going to be getting kicked for being idle. So you may have just noticed here, but it says time remaining before you're kicked from idling at 2 minutes and 36 seconds. So in order to fix this issue, we're having to do the rubber band method, which is why I said to get rubber band for your requirement uh, in the beginning of the video. And the reason why is because you want to use it in order to keep your character constantly moving. So what you want to do is for controller players, so PlayStation, Xbox, what you want to do is take your controller... And then take our band, and then from here, wrap the rubber band around the left joystick, for both the controllers of course, and then wrap it around R2 for PlayStation, and R2 for Xbox. What this will now do is cause your character going in circles just like this, and that way you never get kicked for being idle. Now for PC players, you're in a little bit of luck because there's actually two different ways you can do this. First one is going to be the method that I'm doing, and it's basically getting something heavy enough to hold down the W key, the A key, and then the S key. 
If you hold all three of these keys down, it'll of course keep your character constantly going in circles. Or you can actually do the rubber band method as well with your controller. You just want to take your controller and plug it into your computer or laptop through USB. And you should be able to do the rubber band trick as well. There was one other thing that I did want to elaborate on, which I feel like I shouldn't have to, but I need to. Uh, so I do see a lot of comments in the comment section for these AFK survivals saying that they don't have the exact same job. So this job right here, this one specifically where you're at the maze bank and everything, there's all the red um, like barriers. This is for PC only. If you're a PC player, you're going to get this exact same job right here. But if you're playing on PlayStation or Xbox, for some reason they don't have the jobs integrated. So you're not going to be able to see this job link whatsoever for PlayStation and Xbox. So therefore, I had to give you an entirely different job. Now, the jobs are going to work the exact same way, just like this right here. It's just going to be an entirely different board, and it's going to look entirely different. But like I said, it works the exact same way. So that was something I want to go ahead and just confirm with. And also, if you still have questions about this, let me know down in the comment section below. And so there you guys go. That is basically the entire method, and that's how you not get kicked free in AFK, as well as make money on the side without having to do anything at all. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do, because this has a total of 20 waves, which is actually the max that any AFK goes, which is why I made sure it was 20 waves. That way you can make the most amount of money and RP from it. So of course, I'm just going to go ahead and skip to the very end of this, because there's really no point showing you the entire thing. So I'm going to go ahead and just skip to it now. Alright, so we're now on the final wave here. It looks like we have one more person left, and that is it. So there we go, we passed the entire survival without having to shoot anyone whatsoever. And for this, we made a total of $24,375 and 1929 RP. Now, that doesn't seem like a lot of money, but if you think about just doing this AFK, that's definitely not bad. And so from here, once you're done, just go down to a replay and just keep on doing this as much as you would like. Now, what I recommend doing to make this a little bit easier is to actually go and set a timer and then go ahead and start up the match, set that timer, and see how long it takes to complete the entire survival. And then you're going to know the next match that you do, you can set that same timer and then you just go and do what you want. That way you're not having to go back and forth to your actual game to see if it's actually still going or not. So I definitely recommend doing that instead. And so there you guys go. That is your entire AFK method for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe for more GTA 5 videos and content just like this. And with that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there. And goodbye.